Welcome to the Shortwave Radio Channel, and we're going to talk about single sideband, BFOs, or beat frequency oscillators, fine tuning. It all goes together pretty much when you listen to single sideband signals and upper lower sideband. We're going to try to demystify a little bit what that is all about. So, you buy a radio, and you notice that a radio might be and have on the box or in the instructions, oh, this is a radio that has SSB, single sideband. Single sideband is a mode of transmission. It's a mode of transmission that is very efficient where you actually remove the carrier of a signal. Um, in most international broadcasts, you have an AM carrier and you have the sidebands for the audio on each side. The problem with that is that that carrier needs to be maintained. It, it takes a lot of power. So somebody said, hey, single sideband, how about the radio makes a carrier and we just transmit the voice information? How about it? How about we do that instead? Much more efficient, no carrier to you know, keep up and running all the time. And that's why ham radio operators operate a lot in single sideband. Much more efficient, much easier also for DXing than a standard AM signal most of the time. And, of course, you don't need two, um, you know, uh, to have the two sides of information like an AM signal. You just use one. That's why we separate single sideband into upper and lower sideband. One first question that I get so often is, my radio has SSB, so there's, you know, um, how can I tune upper and lower sideband? It doesn't have that, right? Yes, it does. SSB, single sideband, you listen to upper and lower sideband. Every radio that exists that has single sideband can have you listen to upper or lower sideband. You don't have to have a separate switch, but there's an advantage to having a separate upper lower switch because uh, without a separate switch, you'll be using a BFO and you'll have to go to and tune that BFO to match the signal in upper lower sideband. It's a little tricky for someone that's not used to decoding a single sideband signal when you don't have separate upper lower sideband and all you have to do is use a BFO, which will simply be a little knob that you'll turn like on this uh, Texan PL uh, 680. So this is the BFO of the receiver. Now it says BFO here, you see? Here, right here. Beat frequency oscillator. Why? What's the beat frequency oscillator? Remember I told you that a single sideband signal, we remove the carrier, there's no there, there's no one there. But you need a carrier to be able to understand what the single sideband signal information has. So instead of sending the carrier with the transmitter, the radio creates its own. So the radio internally will have its carrier to replace the one that was removed. So that's why we tuned to single sideband. It turns on the carrier, the internal carrier of the radio. The BFO, beat frequency oscillator, is a way to change the frequency of the carrier if you want. So that will change the tone of what you listen to. And that means you'll be trying to figure out what is the correct BFO position to hear clearly the voice that I'm listening to. The next step up is a radio that does have separate upper lower sideband. It can also use a BFO. Once again, the Texan PL680 is an example here because it does have separate upper lower sideband, but it uh, also still uses a BFO. Now, what's the advantage if you have a BFO and a separate upper lower sideband? It's one step to make it a little easier to tune around a single sideband signal correctly. And so as long as you know if you're an upper or lower sideband with what you want to listen to, the BFO is going to be easier to just fine tune until you hear a clear voice, for example. And then you've got radios that don't have a BFO. They have what we call a fine tuning. And an example of that is this uh, Texan H501X. If I go in sideband, I have separate lower upper sideband buttons. And I don't have a BFO on this. All I have is fine tuning and tuning. Tuning goes by one kilohertz at a time, but fine tuning goes with 10 hertz at a time. 
So that's going to be used to fine tune a signal. What's the difference here is that this is way more accurate. You actually pinpoint the exact frequency of that signal. Where on a BFO type radio, you could be off by one kilohertz, still tune the signal, think that you're on that frequency, but in reality, you're kind of off. And some signals, like ham radio operators often do that, they will be not on the kilohertz, they'll be on you know, for like 14125.25. Now, you don't know that on a radio that is standard BFO because it doesn't have the frequency precision in the display. So that's why I always say these higher end radios are way better if you're a fan and listen to single sideband all the time because not only is it easier to tune a signal with a receiver like this because all you need to know is the exact frequency they're on and is it upper or lower sideband so you can just punch in and not even touch any buttons and you'll have a clearer voice. Uh, that's what happened to Trenton Monetary earlier. I didn't have to play with anything. An example I'll give you here. If I want to tune, right now there should be a Gander Newfoundland weather on 6604. Notice how voice is natural. I don't have to play with any buttons. That's the clear advantage of a radio that doesn't have a BFO to tune around with. Because with the same radio here, in order to tune that same signal, I'll have to play with the BFO on the radio. So uh, maybe we can have an example actually live. Let me take the antenna of the Texan. Put it into this radio here. Let's go to shortwave. I'm going to put myself on um, 6604. And we're going to put ourselves in single sideband, upper, upper sideband. Hear what it sounds like. And now I'm going to play with the BFO of the radio. I don't have the precision of this, the display necessarily, so this signal could be somewhere else, and I could still hear it. It could be off by 200 hertz. I don't know. I wouldn't know with this radio, which has more precision. So playing with a BFO. So this is an example of the difference. Um, you might say, well, you know, well, that doesn't look that too complicated. I am so used to <laughs> tune around single sideband signals with a BFO that for me it isn't much of a challenge anymore. But I know that for uh, somebody new, it, it definitely is a challenge. Definitely is. So you can see the difference here and why, um, you know, having a higher end radio with precision display. Um, and fine-tuning makes it easier to tune. Also, you know the exact frequency. That's what you pay for when you pay for an, uh, a radio that has more um, frequency uh, precision and display and in a single sideband tuning. It doesn't mean that your radio is bad. It's just that with a radio with beat frequency oscillator and no separate upper lower sideband, you're just going to have to work harder to get the same signal. But you know what? Once you do it very often, you're going to be like me. It won't be that much of a problem, and you're going to be used to it and you're going to do it regularly. But I do see a lot of you out there struggling to use that. And that is practice. Practice makes perfect. It does in single sideband tuning with these radios. It's something to you know play around and dabble. Uh, tune as many single sideband signals as possible and try to pinpoint and have the, the audio sound good. Another advantage that is for a radio with precision is the ability to easily, for example, pirate radio stations that use single sideband and play music. Well, pinpoint the, the correct audio for music, especially music. Single sideband music to, to sound good, precision is super important. So you can do it on a BFO, but 
you will work harder than I will if the signal is on a correct frequency um, than this radio will because this one is going to be directly tuned to the correct frequency of the transmitter. So I'll make it easier for me. So there are advantages. That's why some radios are more expensive. Have these bells and whistles that make it easier. Once again, if you master the BFO of your portable radio, you know what you're gonna you're gonna it's gonna work great, and you won't even need to have a higher end radio necessarily. You might just not know if you're exactly on frequency, but you know you're still listening to single sideband signals. It's all right. So hope that uh, that helped and understanding a little more about, you know, BFOs, SSB, upper, lower sideband, and all of that, and what's the difference between these radios in general. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.